All right, guys, we're out here on the pond. We got the bass raider here. We're just trying to catch some cold weather bass. Late fall here, actually early fall, but it's about 39 degrees out. So let's see if we can get on some. Jay already picked one up on the Sanko. I'm throwing a chatterbait. Let's see if we can get some. number two on the day Jay just caught one not a bad one but a pound and a half it's about the average size in here but I know there's some bigger ones let's see if we can get on them I'm gonna throw Texas rig craw with a eighth ounce tungsten weight is on that Savannah series Cajun custom rods seven foot medium heavy that I showed you guys in the last video Great rods, let's see if we can pick some up. Fish number three. Jay's got one there. I just missed one. I'm sitting down now because I got to control the trolling motor here. You guys are probably looking right at it. Guys, it is cold. This early fall transition weather, I know they're going to be up shallow. We're going to try to catch these shallow fish. This pond gets pretty deep. It gets 25 feet out in the middle. There's actually walleye in there. Got one. There we go. Oh, he came off. That was a nice fish, too. You can see my bait there, guys. Got that Texas rig craw. Wind's starting to pick up. I might might throw a spinner bait here we are moving quick I might stick us up onto a bank here I'm just chucking over towards this cover here there's a down tree a little lay down Oh, there's one. There's a nice one. There's a there's a good one. Eh, not that good. Oh, it's not bad. Not a bad one there, guys. About a pound and a half. On the Texas rig craw. There we go. Right down that lay down, guys. They're up shallow now because that transition weather. So we're targeting the shallow, shallow lay downs. Let's see if we can pick some more up. That one hit like a sack of bricks. There's another one. Oh, this is a better one. Oh yeah. Oh, he came off. He was running right at me. I couldn't catch up to him. Jay's got one. Same one. Stole my fish. It's not a bad one. 
About a two pounder. I might have to switch to another plastic here. Mine's getting pretty, pretty beaten up. They're hitting it hard. So. Let's keep, keep hitting this lay down. They're hitting it. In my bag. Just punch it out. All right, guys. There's another one on the craw. Nice fish. Fish are aggressive today, dude. They're hitting like bricks. I mean, they're just chomping the bait. They're choking them. Look at that one right where you want it, right at the top of the mouth. Good hook set. And there's another one. Jay catches dinks. He's like flare. Oh, we are. This wind, guys, is treacherous. It, like, we are flying in this wind. What's up, guys? I'm back at college now. It is actually a couple days later. I am editing this video right now. I had a lot of schoolwork to catch up on. I just wanted to go over what I was using in this video. Um, we started off using some crankbaits, um, jerk baits. Not really anything going on with it. Um, I used a chatterbait a little bit and wasn't really having any luck, so I switched over to that Texas Rig Craw, like I say about 25 times, and I make fun of myself in it. Um, but yeah, we're we're having luck with the Stankos, you know, the Craw imitation, and then I actually went to a little wacky rig later in the later in the day but it was so cold guys at one point a little bit of the snow sleep mix um, it was it was fun we had a lot of fun we caught a lot of fish um, but just remember flare up when you go out there don't be like Jay he had a sweatshirt and jeans on and that was it and I was cold and I had four layers on so remember that Cold weather fishing, always wear extra clothes. Your mom and your dad will always tell you to wear more clothes. Listen to them. Um, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Up North Outdoors.